Yeah, yeah, calm down. 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 Israel indeed has been suicidal and sacrificial in the number of troops it has lost for the sake of saving Palestinian lives. You know that about 25 to 30 percent, at least, of the Israeli soldiers that have died in Gaza have died from friendly fire. And they've died from friendly fire because of the unique challenges of fighting in an urban landscape, but beyond that, because of the ongoing attempts not to kill civilians. I think that is tragic and sad. Israel is also engaged now in negotiations. Negotiations to free hostages. But every time they negotiate with Hamas, they recognize it as a legitimate political entity. Every time they negotiate with Hamas, they give more power to Hamas. Every time they negotiate with Hamas, they encourage the taking of hostages. They encourage more October 7th. Why my heart is with the hostages and I feel terrible about their fate, Israel cannot sacrifice victory for the sake of saving the hostages. That is sad, it is tragic, it is horrible, but it is the truth. Israel is doing the opposite of committing genocide. It is trying to win. Genocide is the organized, systematic murder of a people. Israel is doing the exact opposite. And if you think about the history, just the short history of the Gaza Strip, the population of Gaza has well more than doubled over the last 20 years. I mean, if Israel is dedicated to genocide, that's a pretty bad job they're doing of it. They've grown. They've grown because they've had babies, they've had children, they've, they're living longer, life, ex life uh, uh, expectancy has increased. Indeed, even now, of a population of 2 million people, in a dense urban area, one of the most dense urban areas in the whole world, the numbers are incredibly small of the number of Palestinians that have died. If this is genocide, then again, they're doing a horrible job. What they're trying to do is not genocide. They're trying to win. They're trying to defeat an enemy, a murderous enemy, a barbaric enemy, an enemy that we saw what they did during October 7th. They're trying to do it in a way that there will never be another October 7th. 